How does a variable speed pool pump work? Well, it works great. Uh, the way it works is essentially just by allowing you to control the rate at which uh, the motor RPMs are spinning. Um, most single speed pool pumps run at just over 3000 RPM and that's all they do. They're off or 3000 RPM, similar to a car that has off or full throttle, that's it. Um, and the reality is, is that most of those pumps are oversized for residential swimming pools. So if you were to let that pump run at the one speed uh, all day long, you're actually going to exceed the turnover rate that you need in your pool in terms of for, for filtration purposes. Uh, so the idea is, is that, well, you could just turn off your pump 12 hours a day. That's what a lot of people do. Uh, and then you only spend half as much on electricity. But for 12 hours a day, your water's just sitting stagnant. So is it okay? Yeah, it can be. Uh, could it be better? Yes, it could be. It could be that your water circulates uh, throughout the entire day and perhaps just circulates at a slower rate such that it uses less electricity. A standard single speed uh, pool pump motor doesn't have that ability, but a variable speed pool pump motor does. And that's essentially what it is. It's just a rheostatic control for an electric motor that lets you run at a low RPM, mid-range, high RPM, whatever the case is that you need. But most residential swimming pools can run on a pretty low RPM and that's it. You're, uh, you can run your pool just like that and then you don't have to pay the uh, ridiculous cost. You could save basically up to 90% by switching to a, a variable speed pool pump over a single speed pool pump. So that amounts to maybe $90 to $150 per month savings for every month that you run it. Uh, for my money, I wouldn't ever spend another dollar on a single speed pool pump. Go to variable speed and, and definitely reap the rewards for a long time.